Good morning, ladies. My name is Rosie, and I'm here to introduce you to one of my favorite Christmas cookies that I discovered about three years ago. They are called Almond Triangles, and it's a Minnesota cookie, and it won a blue ribbon, and if you ever make this, you will know why. I'm doing this because every time I have shared this with friends or family, everyone comes back and says, I have to have that recipe. And so I decided to do a video. And I'm doing the video, especially for my sisters. I have five beautiful sisters that I love dearly. Kathy, Mary, Trish, Irene, and Jan. And so I am doing this for them because we, Christmas time, we always have so much fun. We will take pictures of our kitchen and our cookie baking and we'll text back and forth to one another. And we're just kind of silly that way, but it's fun. Um, but I'm mostly dedicating this to Mary. Now, I don't want my other sisters to be jealous, but it's because Mary and I spent a lot of Christmases together when I was single and I was known as um, the wonderful aunt who would always bring the cookies that were so good for her six children. So anyway, that's it. Um, so I'm going to start what I have. I have the ingredients out here. And so what you are going to need is you are going to need flour, sugar, salt, almond extract, a pound of butter, heavy whipping cream, honey, five and a quarter cups of almonds, and an egg. And also you will need brown sugar. Now what I've done is I'm going to start here, but in this saucepan I have put um, the butter, sugar, and brown sugar here. What I will do is I'm going to add the honey once I start to cook it, but that will be um, the third step of this recipe. So to begin with, I'm going to beat the butter for what they say, a minute. Oops. Excuse me. You beat this, beat the butter alone for about a minute. Okay, as you can see, um, they say to beat the butter until it's creamy and then gradually add the sugar. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, and as you can see, they say to beat this till it's light and fluffy. And now I'm going to add um, one egg. I'm going to add one half teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon, well no, three quarters of a teaspoon of almond extract. Whoops. I got a little bit more in there, so I'm going to subtract a little bit. It'll still be good. Okay, now I'm going to beat this on a low well, this is, it just says to beat this until it's combined
Okay, that is well combined. And now I'm going to reduce the speed to low and add the flour. So I just put it on my lowest speed of this um, mixer. Okay, so now the reason I'm doing this video is because this next step is the part that's kind of tricky and so I don't, if you try this recipe, I don't want you to be alarmed by what you see. Now if you look at this, um, it takes a couple, I just mixed this for a couple minutes. If you look at this dough, you notice that it's pretty dry and crumbly. And, um, but that's okay because it's, that's the way it's supposed to be and I'll show you what to do. Um, to deal with this. So now what you're to do is um, you, I'm going to bring this pan over and I didn't tell you ahead of time but before you start the recipe this is the size pan. It calls for a 10 by 15 inch jelly pan but this is actually bigger than that but it still works. And what I did was I taped the aluminum foil simply because when I put the dough on here, it has a, the aluminum foil has a tendency to slide back and forth. You don't have to do that, but I did. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dough on here, and um, I'm going to show you how I spread it out on the pan. And I'm going to make this dough into a ball. Okay, so I just bring it around. I keep working it together. This counter is a little high for me so I have to get on my tippy toes. And I form it into a ball. And as you can see it's pretty dry but it'll it'll work. It'll you'll be able to do this. And I'm just, I'm making a mess here, but that's all right. So as you see, I'm forming a ball and I'm going to get all of the ingredients that's in this bowl. Okay, so here's the ball. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring it over here, put it on your pan. And what I do is I just kind of try to make this involved. Now, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to spread this out. And this is, this is the tricky part. So just start spreading it out like this. And it says to spread it out towards the edges of your pan. By the time you get it all done and you get it all out to the edges, um, this will be a thin, it's going to be a thin layer of dough. And they also t say that when you do this, when you spread it out like this, they say bring it up, spread it up so that there's a little bit of a, a rim so that it goes up the sides of the pan. And so that's what I'm doing here. And so I'm going to just, and what I do is I use the palm of my hand just to spread it out. Okay, you can pause it now. Okay, now as you can see, I have um, taken this dough, I've spread it out so that it comes up a little bit on the edges, and don't worry if it does some edges, it doesn't, but it's not a big deal. And so now it's ready 
to refrigerate. And so what I'm going to do, um, is I'm going to cover it with saran wrap. Just like this. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and I'm going to leave it in there for 30 minutes. And Meanwhile, I'm going to preheat my oven to 375. There's 375. Okay, and so I will stick this pan of dough in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Hi ladies, I'm back. So now I'm going to take the dough out of the refrigerator and what I'm going to do is remove this and I'm going to poke about 24 holes in the dough and once I do that then I'm going to put this pan in the oven for 10 minutes at 375. this towel honey look at this beautiful towel this is what my sister gave me for Christmas my sister Kathy and anyway in 10 minutes we'll be back and I will show you the last step of the recipe hi ladies I'm back so I just removed the dough from the refrigerator and I removed the plastic and I poked about 24 holes in the dough and now I'm going to put it in the oven at 375 for 10 minutes. So I'll let it bake for 10 minutes and be back. 